Well, I have to admit that I've never seen one of these uh, ever until I bought this off eBay 18 months ago. I thought this is a curio. And what does it say on the back? It says Midland Model 76300 UK, 27 megs FM receiver to MPT 1320 UK. Made in Korea by Maxon, distributed by Kerno. No serial number, no manufacturing date. Those parts of the panel are blank. Is it a pre-production prototype? I don't know. In fact, I think the only speculation on the internet about this is that in actual fact this one which was offered on eBay. I mean, it's obviously like a Midland 4001. And people on the internet were saying things like, oh, I think it's a mock-up and... Uh, well, I think it's the AM version with somebody's put the different works in. No, it's real. So here we are, the Midland 76300. Okay, so starting with the Midland 76300 base station. Um, I do know this was uh, serviced when I bought it 18 months ago. In fact, I can assure you that it was on the bench before the postman had even closed the gate. Um, so... We'll go through the, the VCO is the test point and Yeah, it's the test <laughs> it's the test point I explained to you on the Midland four thousand and one um one because we're gonna have to take the front panel off to um to get down to it if I if I start going through that. Um the VCO coil that one just there which we could just get to without taking the front panel apart as you can see so it's slightly different layout to uh, the usual Maxons so what have we got well got three and a half watts I can't actually tell you what the coil numbers are because uh, it goes without saying I haven't got a circuit for it. So L109 going to transmit L108 with the magnifying glass if I can read L110 which is the open construction coil if I can just get round the mains wiring at least it's shrouded unlike a certain President KP77 L111 which is under the fuse holder I don't find having to take that out to get to this, it's a bit awkward Brought it up to four watts. Just tidy that one back up. And any one of you who's got one of these themselves, not had one, but got one, tell me. I just wouldn't mind knowing how many there are out there. Right, that's the transmitter now on 5 watts. Let's see where it is on the load power setting. Should be 0 0.4 watts. And it's actually off the scale. And 
and the low power should be RV102 and RV102 should be there so when we look with them okay what I've had to do is to take the bottom off and take the front panel away as well to find out what was wrong with the low power setting and um, somebody disconnected the wiring from the front panel so whether or not the switch was playing up at some time is uh, always that possibility anyway I've cleaned the switch I've put the wiring back on and that's now sorted out so it's doing 0.4 of a watt on low power and it's doing the full 4 watts on high power so I'm pleased about that so that uh, now brings us to doing the power meter you can just about see that and it should read four of course and it reads swings over right towards eight now why does the power meter read from naught to ten Mm, that's interesting and the power meter is RV103 and that isn't RV103 but that is and there we are set for 4 so that was the low power control just in case there's a preset just under that fuse holder and that is the low power control so the left hand one of those two is the um, RF meter so now we'll check the deviation Unfortunately, the 4001 thing I'm working from is uh, clearly different. So is that deviation? Okay. What I would have expected to be the squelch preset on this. I'll just put the other oscilloscope on. On the right there. <laughs> just slightly over the top. It's just down the you can just see that. I can see it better on the the monitor than I can. That's it. I'll just listen to that on my monitor receiver. Testing one, two, one, two. Yeah, that's lovely. I don't think we got a mic when I bought this, or if I did, it's, uh, it wasn't the original. It's got gobbled up into the system somewhere because I've provided a, a new generic one for it. So, is it on frequency? Is the next question. So we're on channel 20, so we'll look at 27.79125 and it's spot on 27.79125. If we needed to adjust it, it's um, the capacitor, the variable capacitor next to the 10.24 crystal. We'd need to pop the front panel off to do that, but it's spot on. So I did basically look at this when it arrived 18 months ago. But I knew it needed finishing off, and that's what we're doing today. So that covers everything on the transmitter that I can think of. So I'll meet you on another video, and we'll do the receiver side.